Prince George won't start secondary school this year and will have to study on Saturdays. Prince George, who recently celebrated his 11th birthday, has successfully completed year 6 at Lambrook. Unlike most children his age who would be preparing to start secondary school in September, the future king's journey is somewhat unique. George and his younger siblings, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, have been attending Lambrook School in Berkshire since September 2022. The school is conveniently located a short distance from their Windsor residence, Adelaide Cottage, and is set within 52 acres of the Berkshire countryside. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The school boasts impressive facilities such as a golf course, swimming pool, theatre, sports centre, and various art studios. A diverse range of activities are on offer including tap dancing, bagpipe playing, and swimming. Lambrook distinguishes itself from other schools in several ways. For example, students are required to attend school six days a week, including Saturdays. Moreover, it caters to pupils aged between 3 and 13, up until year 8, which means that Prince George still has two more years left at the school. Prior to joining Lambrook, George was a student at Wilcox Nursery and Thomas's Battersea School. As for where George will continue his secondary education, it remains uncertain. However, one strong possibility is Oundle School in Northamptonshire, known as one of Britain's leading co-educational boarding and day schools. If George does choose to attend, it would mark the first time a male heir has attended a co-educational school. There's a potential royal shake-up afoot as young Prince George may not tread the educational path laid before him by his father, Prince William, and grandfather, King Charles. Both these distinguished men attended the prestigious Eton College in Berkshire alongside Uncle Harry. It was once whispered that Duchess Kate would insist on Marlborough College, her own alumni institute, for her eldest son. Princess Diana's daughter-in-law, plus her siblings Pippa and James Middleton, and Princess Eugenie all boast Marlborough credentials. Not forgetting, of course, St. Andrew's University where the university sweethearts first crossed paths. Yet the tide seems to be turning against Marlborough, thanks to its image growing ever more flamboyant, pulling in the global jet-set elite unlike during Kate's tenure. Passing comment on the shift, a Palace insider stated, the 2024 version of Marlborough may be quite different from how Kate remembers it. It's become a little more jet-set. Lots of parents have villas in Ibiza, chalets in Verbier or a private jet, which isn't Kate's style. She prefers understated wealth. Intriguingly, Boundel School is starting to look like a front-runner. The fact that Charlotte and Louis could also be pupils is an appealing prospect for the Wales family security detail. The mixed-gender school, which demands an annual fee of £34,000, was established in 1556 but boasts a modern approach. The school's website declares, we have a responsibility to ensure that every single member of the school community takes both individual and collective action towards environmental sustainability. We encourage aspiration and abhor arrogance, nurturing open minds, authentic self-belief and a sense of service. We believe that boarding offers the best environment within which to realize these educational ambitions, with day pupils involved fully in the breadth offered by such an education.